Golf hit. Your time is up. It's hammer time. Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. Was good, Alfonso Nation. Alfonso here. Welcome back, one and all, to another episode of Teletrad Unboxings. Let's go. We have a tremendous guy, unbelievable guy. You know, nobody's ever seen a guy quite like this before. You know, we know him very well. We have a great relationship with this guy. He's unbelievable. I, guys, this one right here is very close to your boy's heart. Like right here, like all, like all in this, all in this section here, like all in this area. I am so freaking hyped to get this guy open. It is freaking time for Bulkhead. But before we get into it, I just wanted to give a big shout out and a thank you to Show Z Store. You guys can get this figure and more at Show Z Store. Let's go. I love it. If you guys want to get him before he goes out of stock, because it's probably going to happen, I'll put the link in the description box below for all you good people out there. Today, we have the Arms Iron. This is the APC Toys Bulkhead. Ah! Bulkhead was such an awesome character. He every time he would pop on screen or like show up in battle, he would make his presence known. His rivalry with Breakdown is just unmatched. It's one of my favorite rivalries of the show. And yes, finally an accurate, brand new, re-released Transformers Prime Bulkhead. Done correctly, done accurately, done as it should be done. Because his design was very unique in the show, and, and it was supposed to be unique, it was supposed to stand out. So I'm really glad to get me a round, accurate bulkhead. So, let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging is pretty nice, actually. It's uh, actually shots of the figure, which is interesting. Some of them are, like, shots of, like, some art, like, box art, or, like, character art. But this one is actually the figure itself, which is pretty sick. Nothing on the side, nothing at the top, except for the title, Arms Iron. And then at the bottom, you got some warnings, and then nothing on the side. And on the back, you've got just more shots and more photography of the guy. Different, you know, action steals of him. So let's just freaking get it. It is unboxing time, baby. Let's go. Mm, this is gonna be good. I am building my Transformers Prime collection. It's happening. Like, this is the only, like, non-premium collection that I'm gonna be building right now. Depends on what happens with Studio Series War for Cybertron. Let's check them out. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Mm! Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh! I don't know why, but I'm freaking out. Oh! Wow! That's what I'm talking about! I have never, I'm trying not to cry right now. I have never had. Ah! Oh. Woo! Okay, I'm all right, I'm good. I, wow, I just, okay. All right, I have never had, like, a figure looking this nice for Bulkhead before. Holy. Crap, this is like the show. Woo! Alright, get it together. <laughs> Change your life. This is like the Transformers Prime. Oh, the joints are awesome. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of my favorite APC figures. I just took him out, but I'm going to say it. This dude is awesome. He's got the freaking ankles for positioning. That was one of the things I was worried about. Hang on, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoa, that was one of the things I was worried about with the figure, is that I wasn't sure if he was going to be stabilized, because I know Bulkhead is really heavy set at the top, he's really top heavy, and I knew he had really small legs, so I wasn't sure if, like, the figure would hold up, if the joints, you know, because it's third party, or, you know, it's not, it's not the official Hasbro version, but he has freaking ankles, and the ankles are like, you can put force on it, it's not going to go back, it's like, it's like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the... Yeah! <laughs> and this is probably one of my favorite 
weapons that he has. I, from looking at the pictures, I was like, whoa, I love the hammer. Here is a close up of a PC bulkhead. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Ah, this is awesome. I love it. 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 Did I mention that I love it? You got him in robot mode. Looks great. You have nice broad shoulders. I'm loving like the actual sculpt here. You know, you got like pretty accurate chest with like the windows and the doors. That head sculpt is awesome. That head sculpt is awesome. And it's not difficult to replicate because it's not like a live action thing where you gotta get a lot of details right. It's a, it's a cartoon, it's animated. So a lot of the design is gonna be simplified. So it's not hard to get right. But you know, he has to transform, so he has to be accurate. I am truly digging him already. I almost cried <laughs> when I took him out. I, I don't know, that, that, that wasn't expected, I didn't plan on that. So let's get to the accessories. He doesn't have much, so it shouldn't be much to get into. Um, this is my favorite one, honestly. I mean, this is the big battering hammer, the big hammer time. She just got pretty much uh, green for the actual, like, th these pieces here, and then it's pretty much all black. You got the stem, and then you got the handle. If you want to apply it to his hand, you remove the bottom of the handle, and then it just exposes this, so that way you can just bring him in and slide it right on in. Let's go, let's go. You got Bulkhead fully loaded out with his hammer. That looks awesome. That is amazing. You can pull off some awesome poses with him. Man, I gotta get breakdown again to apply the blasters and get the blasters. The hammer actually converts into the blaster. The blasters convert into a hammer like they all combine. You can remove this portion if you'd like, although you don't really have to. This is a uh, this is all different pieces that come apart. But these two, uh this side and this side are actually the blasters. So you just hold the base of the center and pull it right off and it comes right off. I'll do it again here, hold the base, boom, comes right off. And there you got your two blasters. It's so easy and so simple. These blasters, the green portions are actually tabbed into each other, the four sections. So you just have to like kind of maneuver one out. You can actually see where the tabs are. So you can just kind of fan them out and they're all on like these hinge joints. So they will fan out if you need them to, which is awesome. But on the inside of the blaster, you can see the actual pegs there. There's like pegs that you can use to peg into his hands. And it will be the same application as with the uh, the wrecking ball. So let's just apply one. You flip his hand in and then you align one of the, the, the peg at the top here with the, the hole in his hand. And oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Let's go! Let's go! Ball kids ready to blast. You know there's a specific scene that I that I think about when I think about Bulkhead's blasters. When he uh this was back whenever Smoke Screen was assumed to be killed. And then our scene was like, and then Smoke Screen was just gone. Like he turned to dust. And then Ratchet was like, RC, it's not your fault. Bulkhead, like, activated his blasters. He said, well, I say we go get a piece of Megatron's miserable metal eye. I love that part. And then you've got the freaking Wrecking Ball. Let's go. So, like, towards, like, the different, like, the top and, like, the bottom, there's, like, darker, darker painting. And then it kind of gets into, like, this nice, smooth gradient into a lighter paint as you get towards the center. In order to apply the Wrecking Ball, you just take his hand. You flip it on the inside, and there's going to be a peg that is exposed. And then you just take the the peg here that you have, and you just plug it right in. Plug it in, plug it in. Yeah! <laughs> he looks so, so good with the Wrecking Ball. That is such a signature bulkhead appearance and look. I absolutely adore that so much. It really does give those Transformers Prime show vibes, and I am so here for it. And this is a piece, this looks like a bumper of some kind. This is probably maybe for his back, I assume, or maybe for his truck mode. Bulkhead is always down for the battlefield. He's always down for a brawl. I love it. Wreckers don't call for backup. They call for cleanup, baby. I love it. All right, so let's get into the articulation real quick. Arm comes up. Uh, the shoulder panel actually moves up, arm can come up even higher than that, can really come up high, I love the articulation here, arm comes down, arm goes around, there is rotation on the, on the elbow, 
Okay, arm bends at more than a 90 degrees. A very strong, acute angle there. The wrists don't rotate. They only rotate inwardly so that you can transform it and obviously so you can use the accessories. Legs come out. Legs come down. Legs rotate all around like this. Legs come up like this. The knee bends. Really nice. Another tighter than 90 degree angle. Leg straightens out. The leg can come back, but very, kind of not too much. It actually won't go higher than that, actually. It doesn't even change it because there's the, the butt piece here that blocks that blocks it. So, I mean, he's a hefty boy, so there's going to be some limitation. Thankfully, there is an ankle piece here where you can flip it out and then it'll actually stay in place if any force is applied on it from the ground up. And then you have some toe movement here this is most likely for the transformation but once again just like with the heel you have some sturdiness if any force is applied from the ground up she doesn't have waist rotation which i didn't expect he's a bulky guy and you know the top half of him is like full of material but the head does move side to side just like that head looks up kind of not too much and not really doesn't look down very much but he looks side to side fairly decently that's a pretty much of an overview of his articulation i think it's awesome considering that he's literally a bulky character and he's got a lot of material that he's carrying doesn't matter because of the price value and of because of the freaking scale of this guy now speaking of the scale of this guy let's get into the comparison segment now the comparisons here he is with the transformers prime this is the robots in disguise wheel jack Oh my goodness, the freaking Wrecker duo. I loved both of these guys so freaking much in the show. They were so amazing, and it's awesome to see them there, and that's the skill between the two. Pretty decent. Here he is with the Transformers Prime APC Toys Chrome Edition Optimus Prime. Let's go. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't even. I can't. I can't. This is so good. This is too good, man. APC Toys, please don't stop. Please don't stop. <laughs> Keep going. Anyways, here he is with the Transformers MPM scaled uh, Ratchet, Dark of the Moon. I just wanted to get an MPM, like a, like a Bayverse figure in there to give you guys an idea of what he looks like outside of ABC Toys or outside of Transformers Prime. But we're going to come right back to Transformers Prime with the Trans... Former's Prime APC Toys Megatron. Yeah! Love seeing those two fight, especially around, like, the Space Bridge fight. You going down, Buckethead! Absolutely! I dig it, I dig it, I love it. And finally, just for a figure that is taller than all of these, for a sense of scale that you guys might be familiar with, but here he is with the MPM-10 Optimus Prime, the Masterpiece G1 Optimus Prime, the, the Masterpiece scale absolutely love it i adore it i'm digging it i'm here for it you know what i'm in such a good mood because of this i'm transforming him i'm transforming him i can't believe i'm saying this but i am transforming him let's do this <laughs> and here he is in his old mode <laughs> I had to, I don't even do this much, but I had to do this one. This is APC Toys Bulkhead, beautifully in his alt mode, in the beautiful truck mode. Love this guy so much. He's obviously giving really strong first edition vibes, you know. This is obviously inspired by the Hasbro version, the entire figure. Transformation also is pretty similar. I mean, with the exception of the finish, this figure just generally is... Just like the first edition, but it's just, I love the APC remake. Love the window, the windshield. It's actually kind of like a clear plastic for the windshield. You've got clear plastic on the front doors. And then you've got like painted silver for the back doors. You've got nice racks at the top of the alt mode there. And then you've got some nice gold paint for the back peg. And then you've got the tail lights looking awesome. The tires are made of plastic, not rubber, but it's awesome. Really compresses up fairly nicely as you can see and i just love it you can there's probably a great wide assortment of different ways you can peg the weapons onto the alt mode but this is perfect he gets a 10 out of 10 for that scale for that budget for the price 
chef's kits. I'm so freaking glad I have them. I like, I literally just can't believe that this is like a thing that I have right now. Like, this is so awesome. He's gonna look so good. My Transformers Prime collection is growing and I'm so hyped. Very hard to like miss with this guy. And he is obviously inspired by the official Hasbro version, but I'm still glad that I got one for my own. And that is accurate. Thank you very much, APC Toys. Anyways, guys, give this at Shoji Store if you want to. I'm a big fan of them. If you got questions, drop it in the comment section below. If you like the video, drop a like on it. And yeah, and follow me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I'll be posting some pictures of this guy pretty soon, so stay tuned. Much love to you all. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one until all are one, baby. Let's go.